My meetings with my clients always motivate me to do videos for you guys because their transformations are so incredibly inspiring. So I wanna talk about my client who I just met with this morning. And when we started three weeks ago, she was suffering from debilitating anxiety. Her weight had creeped up like 40 pounds overnight. Um, and there were a lot of other frustrating symptoms that were interfering with her life, like low libido and hives, like a lot of skin symptoms, digestive symptoms and things like that. And three weeks in, oh, migraines too. Three weeks in, she hasn't had a migraine, not even a headache, she said. Her sleep has improved, and I quote, 100%. So she's sleeping through the night. If she does wake up, she falls back asleep easily. All signs that her adrenals are nourished and that her cortisol levels are down. And the best part is that she has not taken her Xanax in three weeks since we started working together. Before going to work and not bringing her prescription would have given her anxiety But now she's leaving the house without even remembering it because she doesn't need it anymore and so Today we are talking about this journey um, How she got to me and she was seeing all kinds of specialists neurologists for her migraines um, you know people for her skin, just general practitioners, you name it. And she wasn't getting any answers. And the reason is because these specialists, they're not looking at the big picture. They're looking at this one area. So what I do is I'm really looking at the cluster of symptoms that are presenting themselves and how all of them are connected and how all of them are communicating to us what we need. So I say all the time that our bodies are incredibly resilient and they are and they will adapt. And so you can be eating a lot of foods that are toxic to your body that aren't gonna show up on an allergy test, but they are still creating an inflammatory response and damaging your cells and your gut and your liver and your adrenals and everything in between. So the only way to know is to dump, jump in and do it and to see the evidence for yourself. So we have to experiment and we have to look at the evidence because the research, I was telling my client this morning, like when they say cell reduce can reduce the risk of cancer, these patients in these studies are drinking like eight cups of cell reduce a day. And so these studies aren't really, we can't disseminate them into the real world necessarily because who's gonna take the time to clean their juicer eight times a day? Um, I mean, that's a lot of celery, like nobody's really gonna do these things. So the research, it's very much skewed and there's a lot of financial interests that are influencing the research. I've been in the research industry, I know there are so many, so many, so many flaws. So I can just spill out all this research evidence to you, but the only way to know what works for you individually and your unique genome is to try it for yourself. And so, my client has seen all of her symptoms approve across the board in just three weeks. And I started this morning by asking, like, what evidence is your body giving you that you're on the right track? And, you know, she listed off all of these amazing things. And then some that, um, you know, you don't quite expect, like being able to put down that fork after that second bite of cake because, it just, you know it's not serving you and your taste buds have changed, which is something else that she has communicated is that like it tastes artificial now. Um, Cause our bodies, again, they're so resilient and they're going to adapt. So we really just get used to feeling bad and we get trapped in this binge eating cycle, cravings and then restricting and then binging and all of this because our body is reliant on these chemicals and these foods um, for energy. It's why we have withdrawals when we stop drinking soda or coffee um, or carbs even because gluten has opioids in it. So once we can clear away this bullshit, so basically we have this layer of fog um, that is kind of weighing on us mentally, physically, and everything in between. So we can't really decipher like what's causing the fog, what's creating the fog, until we start to remove some of these things. Um, and then we can look at the evidence that surfaces. 
And so she has removed a lot of these things, even though on her allergy tests, like didn't say she was sensitive to dairy, but when she removed them, the rashes are improving, um, energy cravings are improving, digestive health is improving. And so like, why rely on that allergy test when your body is giving you all the evidence that you need to know what works for you and what doesn't. And so when we clear away the bullshit, we can lift that fog. And so if we have cleared away dairy, gluten, sugar, and then um, the fog is gone, and then we decide to go to a party where we have some queso, and we eat that little bit of queso, and um, then symptoms arise. And this is the beauty of it all. It's like you learn for yourself what to eat and what not to eat, what works for you, what doesn't. It's not me telling you, it's you realizing for yourself because again, we've lifted that fog and now everything becomes a lot more clear. So when you eat that queso, your body is going to respond now because you're not getting these toxic insults day after day. And so it's it's done some healing and now when you you know reincorporate it, it's going to be a lot more obvious whether or not this food agrees with you or not. So really elimination is the only way to know what your body needs. I mean, I can give you a framework based on your symptoms. I can have a really good idea of what's going on. Um, for example, iron deficiency anemia is often caused by gluten intolerance, um, not a lack of iron supplementation, right? And so these are connections I can make to give you the framework, but then you go out there and do it, right? We can't learn to ride a bike just by reading or being told how to ride a bike. We have to actually go out and do it and learn for ourselves. Like, oh, I got need to go a little slower around the corners or um, whatever. And then that is what makes this sustainable because it's not some rigid program telling you what to do and not telling you why but it's, it's me giving you the, the reasons why these foods might not agree with you and how they might be um, causing some of these symptoms you're experiencing, and then you learning for yourself so that you can make that decision for your health. And that is taking your health in your hands. And right now, as a society, we are just looking to experts for all the answers. We're ignoring our body and our needs, looking outside ourselves for the answers. And it can be really challenging when there's a lot of symptoms surfacing to know what is causing what. That is so true. But again, your primary care doctor isn't knowledgeable in like gluten sensitivity, mold toxicity, you know, overtraining, things like that. And so they're going to send you to a specialist who is looking at this hyper focus in on this one little area of your illness um, and not looking at the broader picture. And so um, we need to stop looking to these experts for advice and just get back in touch with our knowing and the intuitive signals that our body is giving us constantly, letting us know what we need and what we don't eat. For example, if you are exhausted and forcing yourself to go to the gym, like this is going against your body's needs and what your body is communicating to you. It needs rest, why? I don't know, maybe it's overburdened by toxins, your adrenals are really fatigued, your cortisol is really high, and your body really wants you to really wants to encourage you to stop stimulating your nervous system and start nourishing your nervous system with a little bit more rest. And that doesn't mean that you are lazy or, or anything like that. Um, it's like, that's what you need right now, right? It's not gonna be forever, but we need to heal so that you can feel your best, so that you can feel energized, so that you can enjoy going to the gym, get excited about going on a walk, and it doesn't feel like a chore anymore. And so if you're trapped in this cycle where you feel like you have to do some kind of chronic 30-day diet reset in order to get your weight back where you want it or you need to kill yourself in the gym, this isn't sustainable. And that's why you keep going back to these things is because like they're not sticking and we end up reverting back to our old habits, especially if we didn't enjoy it. And then it feels like a punishment. And so it's this really slippery slope that leads us to poor health um, in the long run. And so I was just extremely motivated by my client's transformation after only three weeks, having migraines disappear, having anxiety disappear, 
and um, all of these other amazing signs that her body is giving her that she is more balanced, that she, that her nervous system isn't chronically stimulated, which I know is for a lot of people today. And um, you can just see, you can feel the difference in someone's energy when they are taking care of their self, themselves and honoring their body and not going against it and just relying on these latest articles or whatever worked for Aunt Judy or whatever this doctor is saying. Like we need to look at the big picture so that we can understand the root cause. And when we can understand the root cause, we can start addressing it and healing that root cause, that void um, or deficiency that is causing us to consume in excess and feel out of control to feel obsessive and things like that so I hope that this resonates with some of you I know in my experience I was at that point where I was eating foods that I was straight up addicted to and I was obsessing about it thinking about food all the time like if if there was a um, a party and there was a table full of cookies and shit I was thinking about it like trying really hard to you know keep my willpower and, and avoid it and everything like that but a couple drinks in I'd be over there you know and then there's that out of control feeling when there's no signal to start physically there's no signal to stop and so um, it's figuring out what's that void that we're trying to fill why are we in this place of scarcity um, you know deficiency, deprivation, where our brain is telling us to consume an energy excess. We have to ask why. It's not a character flaw. It's not that you lack willpower. It's all about your environment and your lifestyle. And then once we can resolve whatever it is that your body needs, whether it's to heal or um, just you need more abundance of something like nourishment or sunlight, then everything is so much easier. It's literally effortless. In this lifestyle, you will enjoy it. It's not gonna feel like a chore to cook healthy meals and to get outside and move. You're literally gonna be so intrinsically motivated, right? Just because it feels good, not because you're thinking about, oh, I need to burn calories after last night's binge or whatever, or um, I'm, you know, if I don't, if I don't work out for an hour, it doesn't count. Like, no, it's walking outside for 10 minutes feels good and that's why I'm gonna do it. Um, and this is a beautiful shift that makes, again, these things sustainable. And so that you're not on this roller coaster ride with your mental health and your weight and all of these other things and you can really feel in control of your life and your health. And so um, this is my hope for all of you. And I hope that this video, um, if it hits home, then please reach out. I would love to chat about you know, what this process can look like as far as the one-on-one -on -one coaching, helping you to get to this amazing transformational place. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and be well.